and slip to the nurse's station or to the laboratory refrigerated area. Report to the nurse and record that a specimen was obtained and any unusual observations. A special method is used to collect a patient's urine when the specimen needs to be free from contamination. This special kind of specimen is called a midstream clean catch urine specimen. In most health facilities, a disposable midstream clean catch kit is available. All of the items needed for this kind of specimen collection is found in the kit. Midstream means catching the urine specimen between the time the patient begins to urinate and the time the urination is complete. Clean catch means that the urine is not contaminated by anything outside of the patient's body. The procedure requires careful washing of the perineal area. Now I'd like you to watch a demonstration of collecting a midstream clean catch urine specimen. Collect your supplies. Identify the patient. Check the identification bracelet against the requisition slip. Explain the procedure. Provide for privacy. Wash your hands and put on your gloves. Assist the patient to collect the specimen if unable to do so on their own. Open the disposable kit. Remove the three towelettes and urine specimen container from the kit. Clean the male or female perineum as described in the previous routine urine collection demonstration. Have the patient initiate the stream of urine. After the stream is achieved, have the patient stop voiding and collect the urine in the middle of the void approximately 30 to 60 cc's. Have the patient finish voiding into the bedpan, commode, or toilet. Cover the urine container immediately with the lid from the kit. Take care not to touch the inside of the lid. Then complete the steps shown with the routine urine collection. If a 24-hour urine specimen is ordered, that means that all urine excreted by the patient in a 24-hour period is collected and chilled on ice or refrigerated during the collection period. This prevents the growth of germs. A preservative may be added to the collection container for some 24-hour urine tests. A 24-hour urine specimen requires that the patient start the collection with an empty bladder. All voidings during the next 24 hours are collected. The procedure and test period must be clearly understood by the patient and everyone involved in the collection. If all specimens are not saved during the test period, report it immediately to the nurse the test must be discontinued and restarted again for the next 24-hour period. Now watch a demonstration of collecting a 24-hour urine specimen. Collect your supplies. Identify the patient. Check the identification bracelet against the requisition slip. Explain the procedure emphasizing the importance of saving all urine for 24 hours. Fill out the label or obtain a computer-generated patient label and apply to the 24-hour collection container. Wash your hands and put on your gloves. Ask the patient to void, then discard and note the date and time on the container. This begins the 24-hour collection period. 
Place the container in the bathroom in a pan of ice or in a refrigerator designated for lab specimens only. Clean your equipment, remove your gloves, and wash your hands. Place the sign indicating a 24-hour urine collection is in progress in the toileting area. Remind the patient to save all the urine until the same time the next day. Complete the steps as was demonstrated with the routine urine collection. Stones, also called calculi, can develop in the urinary system. They may be in the kidneys or in the ureters or urinary bladder. Stones come in different sizes and shapes. These can cause severe pain and damage to the urinary system. A stone may exit the body through the urine. Therefore, all of the patient's urine needs to be strained. If a stone is passed through the urine, it is immediately sent to the laboratory and examined. Now watch a demonstration of straining all urine. Collect your supplies. Explain the procedure to the patient. Place a sign in the bathroom indicating that all urine is being strained. Wash your hands and put on gloves. Offer a bedpan urinal or assist to the bathroom and place a specimen collector in the toilet. Provide for privacy while the patient voids. Take the collector to the bathroom and pour the urine through the strainer placed in a measuring container. Observe carefully for any crystals, stones, or other particles in the urine strainer. Contact the nurse immediately if any are found. Then complete the steps as was demonstrated with the routine urine collection. Sputum is a substance that is brought up or expectorated from the patient's lungs. It is thicker than ordinary spit that is found in the mouth. You must be sure that the specimen comes from the lungs rather than from the mouth as it can provide valuable information such as the presence of infection, tuberculosis, or many other things. Now I'd like you to watch a demonstration of collecting a sputum specimen. Collect your supplies. Identify the patient. Check the identification bracelet against the requisition slip. Explain the procedure. Wash your hands and put on your gloves. If the patient has recently eaten, assist her to rinse her mouth with water and spit into the emesis basin. Assist to an upright position. Ask the patient to take a deep breath and then cough forcefully to bring up the sputum. Repeat deep breathing and coughing as needed. Collect one to two tablespoons of sputum in the specimen container. Be careful not to contaminate the inside of the container. Cover the container immediately and apply a label. Place in the biohazard bag. Finally, complete the steps as with the routine urine collection demonstration. A specimen of stool is a sample.